can you can you explain already a little bit on you know where will you still have faith in of what you suggest okay let's put our energy in x or y it's morals it's ethics it's philosophy it's humanism it's religion it's personal people with good souls it's it's all of this package and of course at times many people think this is theoretical this is dreamers uh, 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 professor mahbub al haq he, he passed away he was a great mentor i was very lucky to have great mentors of philosophers of thinkers from the arab world and from other country he told me 20 30 years ago he was he, he was the mind behind the, uh, the the human indicators that the un has developed not measuring our progress only by looking to GMP. So he told me, Farida, until we vanish, you have to know that there are the good and the evils. So whenever you face evil, close your eyes and keep counting how many good souls are around you. And that gives you the power to continue. And he's very, very right. So I don't think I'm naive to think that we are no longer going to have the evils. The evils are going to be there all over around us, always and always. The evils where they are with greed for politics, for power, for money. And from what I have been noticing, even in Libya after the revolution, I think I'm, 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 it's incredible what power and politics does to people. And at this point, I have to say, I'm sorry, to men. Well, that doesn't mean that many women are not also affected by it. But because the world is dominated by men everywhere, everywhere, they are responsible for this global chaos. And this, this is why, in my opinion now, as a Libyan, I will never leave again Libya to be controlled, me or other women, not necessarily me, only by men, not because I hate men, but I'm sorry. They have proven times and times and times, and I'm sorry to say also that I'm deleting from my list of my old friends who were in the opposition many names, because once they reach positions of power, other, they are other human beings, they are other creatures. So again, philosophically speaking, you wonder how they were so good and so in the opposition, because now what we are facing in everywhere the intellectuals have to be blamed, the thinkers have to be blamed, the oppositions have to be blamed. Because in my opinion, there is, at times there are many floated egos. In other ways, people are really dreaming up there and the reality down there is different, okay? And, and in this regard, I think, uh, and there is a, this, this debate is going on in the Arab world, I think for the last 40, 50 years, Intellectuals have been too much enclosed in their own closed circles with the language that the lay people are not understanding. What is exactly happening in Libya today? Today, Libyans are starving. Last week, Libyans went in the street talking about we are starving. Imagine a country of six million people with all the oil wealth, with all the oil that everybody is being, coming, becoming a millionaire. Corruption has tripled maybe from the time of even the old regime. I'm sorry to say that. So, I think it's a long journey. I don't know uh, uh, the international organization, the international community. I'm sorry, I, I, maybe you heard me even on Alexandria saying that. I'm tired of saying you and us, you and us. Now it's us together because you are also thinking with us.